Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is a bonus video. I'll be dropping bonus videos, you know, periodically whenever I feel like it. Um, we're going to go a little in depth into writing.com. First off, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please take the time to do so now. Hit that subscribe button as well as hit that notification bell so that you'll know when I'm coming out with a new video, um, whenever it may be, right? This is a surprise video. Um, also, give me a like. It helps the algorithm, or a dislike. It helps the algorithm out on YouTube, you know, so that my video can come up as a suggested video when people are looking for this type of content and share it with your loved ones you never know who may need this information for now or the future yeah so let's get right into this video no visuals of me today of course okay we're just going to focus on this website this is writing.com um, if you watch the video that I did with um, how to, where to go to promote your um, writings and stuff like that, this was my go-to number one website. What I did was that I started a brand new account just so that we can walk through it together and see all the great features that this very one website on the World Wide Web has to offer you guys, okay? So... You know, when you sign up and everything, you're going to get a handle. My handle, of course, is just voicing it. Um, you can get your user ID, all of that. You're going to get a free email, okay? And you're going to get a free portfolio. And your email is going to read, like, mine's is going to read just voicing it at writers.com, writing.com, which is <laughs> really cool, okay? You'll get your portfolio. So in the beginning, when you first set up it's going to ask you to set up your bio block and your biography your bio block and your biography is basically a brief rundown of who you are um a little bit about your um you know your creativity what you're writing about and it's going to allow you to add your writings okay and you'll have all that information down here as you scroll through or whatever it'll take you step by step okay you're going to set up your signature block and right here, a signature block is a text that automatically shows up in your emails, forum posts, and um, book blog entries. This is a convenient way to leave an impression on those members with whom you're conversing. So um, if, you, if you have a Gmail, um, anybody that knows that has received the email from me, I have a signature block on my email. So this would be... It's kind of like that, where you have your little picture comes up, your um, your title, and then or your little information, whether it's your social media or whatever it is, your website. Um, you can change your handle at any time. So mine is just voicing it. I can change it to whatever I want when I want to. Explore your portfolio. We're going to go into that as well, okay? Um, create your first item and then up here it, it'll give you videos that you can watch on how to set up your portfolio tabs and stuff like that how to link an item okay and then once you set up all your stuff and you uploaded some writing why not go around the platform and introduce yourself right so <laughs> it's gonna teach you how to go and say hello and introduce yourself to various groups different forums where you can meet other writers and meet readers that are looking to actually read new books and you know they might be even a couple literary agents in there sneaking around through the pile to try to find a good book to promote right um, choose your preferences so you can go in there and change around your settings and things that you need like as far as like emailing if you don't want newsletters being sent to your email like daily you can change stuff like that who emails you and stuff um, open your instant message console this is really cool it's like aim okay I don't know if you guys used to have AOL back in the day <laughs> But it's kind of like aim and it allows you to, um, you know, message different users on the system, which is really cool. You can subscribe to different newsletters, of course, or you can um, make sure that your settings are set to not receive newsletters as periodically. And if you have any questions or you need any more help, there's a huge section that will help you with everything writing associated. Okay. Um, 
you know, it, you have your membership information, your writing reading. Now, you can upgrade this account also. Like, you know, you have a very free account that you could do a lot, a lot of things on, okay? But then you can upgrade if you wanted to so that you could take, um, um, so that you can take heed of different membership sites where you actually can get like gold seals that go on your website, on your books and stuff like that. You're a member of a certain um, writing organization. So it tells you about all of that. So the first thing we're going to do, right, we're going to go into portfolio. Now, mind you, I created a brand new um, system here for me to go ahead and just, once I republish a lot of my stuff, I'm going to go ahead and start slapping it on here and start getting in debt with the community. So you can create your new item, right? But let's just go into portfolio. And this is what it would look like in the beginning. You, you'll add your picture here or whatever. Um, you know, your bio block goes here, which is like a, a short little bio of you and your books. You know, what it is that you're advertising. Um, and then your writing.com portfolio it says it's empty. So it will start here, right? Your portfolio will start here and it will give you different pictures and stuff like that. And then remember, I told you guys, there's a section where you could change this around. So these little um, uh, tabs, you can move them around if you go into your settings and you'll change them around. So you got reviews, which is really crucial, guys. I told you guys in the self-publishing basics webinar, as well as the promotional writings writers webinar, that reviews are crucial. Okay, because this is what brings in the traffic to your network is when people are reviewing your work. Okay, whether it's they purchase a book for free or whether you sent them a book for free. I mean, whether they purchase the book through any of your networks or whether you sent them a book for free. If they read it, this would be a great place for them to post your review. Because when, when you start getting to know people in the community, they're going to click on your tab and go into your work to see if you even got reviews. Okay, to see if... Hey, but of course, you're going to be known as a newbie. So people are going to try to give you, you know, they're going to give you a shot if everything is on point. Your biography, your full bio will go here. Okay, your full bio. Your notebook. So you can come in here and just, you know, it kind of like Facebook, you know, you want to, you, you know, where Facebook had the notes. I used to use notes a lot back in the day. Now it's not really, people don't really read that. So you can go in here and you can create like little notes for yourself or even little short stories or poetry or whatever you want to keep in this little diary notebook area. You can do that. And as you can see, this notebook has no notes. Why not leave yourself one? Okay. So you can always add notes. And then you have a blog, guys. You can have a blog up here. It says use use of this feature requires an upgrade membership or above. Now let's go here real quick, right? You could blogs, they're not you can go and create a blog on WordPress or even on Wix or Squarespace or whatever. Remember, you still got to pay a hosting fee. So that's what the membership on here would basically be. It give you unlimited storage, right, on things that you want to write. Now, look, look at this. Membership type for basic $9.95 is three months, right? You get the upgraded $12.97. It's not that bad, guys, monthly. Premium Plus, Lord knows what the Premium Plus does, right? But let, let's go in here. Free and paid membership information. Free membership, which is what we're on right now. It's limited, though. So it's childlike level that provides the basic tools and features allow anyone to enjoy, to join in and benefit, right? So you can still come up here and have all your stuff up here and mingle with the crowd and all of that. And advertise your stuff for free, right? But with a basic membership, nineteen ninety five per year, which is not bad, guys. You get entry level membership as and more storage space. You could add even more. So I, for with the free one, you I guess you get the uh, the limited storage space, right? Um, so you can only add maybe like maybe one or two books or something like that. And oh, here we go, right here. Hold on, hold on, guys, hold on. Tells us everything. It says, personal online portfolio with a recycling bin. So you can add and delete. 
storage up to 10 items in the portfolio okay so you can have up to 10 books up here however it says okay yeah you can have up to 10 books up here don't say how, how long the books have to be recycling bin and portfolio tabs um, except the blog tab so you have to upgrade to an actual basic membership to get the blog tab and let me make sure that is correct I don't see it up here maybe it might be up here yep you will have to upgrade to the 49.95 per year 50 bucks a year guys shit and you get a ooh, excuse my language <laughs> and you get a free <laughs> portfolio um blog tab which the blog is huge because you could come in here and just un endlessly write on things that you're not even going to probably copyright right just write stuff to grasp people attention you know um and then I didn't see any I didn't see what the shops meant but I'm looking down here and it says it gives you a shop a shop may mean where you can actually just sell your books off of this website right here like this this has a lot of great stuff in it guys for this one website okay um I'm looking over here okay if you upgrade to the 50 bucks right I'm looking use of authors and print promotion system that you see I'm looking here where anything that's promotional you know and will get you a little bit more exposure uh, uh, look ability to embed YouTube videos in your books okay um ability to create unlimited, unlimited number of message forms create up to 10 books five megabytes each or up to five megabytes create up to 10 interactive stories and host groups of up to 250 members per group create a story for guys you can create your own forum on here that's huge because you you can start your own following on writing.com for just people that like your writing okay and you can start creating a team and maybe even make something even more look at this for the 139.95 it says create up to two shops i'm not sure what two shops mean but i would def definitely want to know what two shops mean because that would probably mean that you can actually have two storefronts on writing.com selling your books now imagine if you had the um this only this forty nine ninety five, right? And you can go ahead and create these forums and stuff like that. You could start advertising other people's books on your shops. Listen to this, guys. Passive income and earn a percentage of their sales. If I'm, if I'm actually, let me let's go into this premium membership real quick to see if it really breaks it down. No, it don't break it down. Lord have mercy. I wish it would have broke it down to where I want to know what the two shops are. Look, it says your username dot writing dot com portfolio URL. Right? Don't you don't get that with the other ones? No, you don't get a. Oh yeah, you do get a public portfolio URL to hand out to family, friends, and publishers. So you still get a lot with the free membership, guys. You get a whole lot, but if you upgrade to the basic i'm gonna say the basic and the up and the upgraded right you will really want to take advantage of these two tiers because you have so much access to so much more and you have unlimited space now if you're only probably doing one book yeah the free is probably good but if you want to start creating a platform for yourself a writer's platform you can upgrade to this one right here and actually create a forum and start gaining members. Okay. And then you could, once you really a hit over here, you can upgrade to this premium and you can offer them two shops. Look, host up to 25 web pages. Dude, that's huge. That's huge. You can have a whole website on writing.com that just focuses on you and probably your platform that you started up here, right? Or your, your members that want to advertise their new books so you can start grabbing people that are newbies and start advertising their stuff and earning passive income. It's all about making money, right? 
It really is. You know, you're advertising your, your, your talents and all of that. But at the same time, you want to earn money for your talent. This is the reason for promotions. But this is, this is awesome, guys. Your email, you get a custom email, right? They, if you just want all your writing stuff to go to just one email, you could just put this email on your bookmarks, your, uh, create a business card for just your books, and start advertising this email, and people would just email you here. You understand? And instead of having your main email on Gmail where you're getting all types of different emails, that don't have nothing to do with writing, you could just narrow it down to here. So it's just another way to stay organized as a writer. Um, I just put the, I just clicked on the news feed. This is your news feed right now. As right now, we only fi- following writing.com support, right? But once we get in there and we start following other people and their, um, you know, learn meeting new people in the writing community right over here. Then we could start following people and we're going to start seeing them on a news feed. Just like Facebook, guys, is, is like any other social network, but just for writers. Imagine this being on this platform all day long. You could be on this platform all day long and not get bored. Okay. I clicked on community. I'm not understanding what's going on. Okay. Here we go. My baby. My baby. Let's clip on contests. Let's see what's going on with the contests. And then we're going to forums. Look at this, guys. We got contests going on. March 8th. This one just was just posted. It is it, National Learn Something About Butterfly Day. March Madness Challenge. Now, mind you, a lot of these contests are not for money. Okay? They're just for notoriety on the platform. Look at this. People have badges. Okay, you can earn badges through some of these contests. Not only that, oh, well, this one has actual grand prize. Look, $75. Write your best poem or short story for a chance to win cash prizes. Ooh, I'm going to have fun on here, guys. Okay, so if you are a writer and you love to write, this is a great place to go to and meet lots of people and earn notoriety, which is, that's what you want, guys. You want people to notice you right now and notice your writing. And not only that, look at it. Merit badges. So let's go into merit badges. Look at this. Celebration, word economy. I love, you know, um, let me, let's click on one. Follow your dreams. It says, congratulations for winning the grand prize that won. You dreamed up entertaining entries. So you see, you earn badges for doing different things, guys. Okay. And that is Huge. I really love websites like this because it gives people an opportunity to showcase themselves and win stuff. You know, and imagine if you got the really cool badges. People are going to constantly be coming to your portfolio, to your page. And if you start a forum when you upgrade to that forty nine ninety five platform, boy, bye, you're going to have a huge following on this website, which in turn not only turns from this website, it goes to your Facebook, your Twitter, your Snapchat, your YouTube. Remember, guys, because people are going to want to be following whatever it is that you do, especially if they're loyal. Okay? A challenge if you did accept. Look, to all writers. Hey, you. Yes, you. So you fancy yourself a writer, huh? I've seen more potential in a theoretical debate with a rock. What you think? I'm being harsh? Then I challenge you to prove me wrong. A challenge. Yes, a simple challenge for one such as you. Now, what shall the challenge be? See, he. Th- you see, this is where I be catching. I don't know what it is. I be catching people. Now, what shall the challenge me? It should have been, now, what shall the challenge be? See, this is where I go in there and I start editing people's stuff. Ah, yes, I know. Have you ever read a short story, novel, novella, watched a movie, and thought to yourself, I could have ended that better, or what the fuck was that guy or girl thinking by doing that? Well, this is your challenge. I wish you to read a, you know what? I need to go in there and correct his grammar, though. (laughs) But do you see, this website can be so entertaining, and I'm going to have a lot of fun on here because I'm going to go in here and just start doing things. I wanted to come in here guys and just show you guys a brief overview of this website. This is another thing that I wanted to do. 
I wanted to grab my um my widget. Yes, guys, I wanted to grab my widget because I need that widget for uh here we go for my website. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this widget here. Oh wait, hold on. Writing prompts. Mm, let's go back to writing.com. It was writing the writing prompt widget that I wanted. Okay, so um, it should have been over here somewhere. But I'm going to go ahead in there, guys, and I'm going to find that widget. And let's see, writing.com. I think it's over here. Hold on. Yeah, it's over here. Um, let me go down here. Here you go, writing prompts, my bed, my bed. And I wanted to go ahead and grab the, see, add our free writing prompt widget to your website. And yes, look, recommended reading, highlighted items, but I just want the writing prompts widget because let me show you guys how cool this is going to look on my website. So we're going to go right over here to my website and I want to see where I want to put it. If it'll pop up. Oh, remember guys, this is an unedited, just, you know, me flowing with the flow video. <laughs> but, okay. Um, I don't want to put it over here. Where I want to add it is to one of my writing pages. So, let's go to my books. Okay. And we'll add it over here somewhere. Um, let's see. Oh, we can add it right on the bottom down here. Now, this was supposed to be... I have to... Oh, that's what it was. I had to go in here and change this because this was supposed to be... Um, and mind you, there were comments up here. But for some reason, the app that I was using before... Let me move this. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. Let me get my widget add and I am going to embed right this is what I want to embed a widget let's put it here let me grab that html guys and it's real simple you just grab the html I want it a little larger though um let's do this one okay and I'm going to just copy, real simple guys, you could right click and copy. And I'm going to go in here and enter my code. I'm going to go up here and just paste it. Update. And my writing prompt should come up. Wait, but I wanted the box. Where is the box? Where is the box? It's not supposed to just say writing prompts. Hold on. Is that all it's going to say? I thought it was... Hold on. Let me see something. Inverse. Let's see what that means. Hold on. Because I wanted it to be the actual box. How cool would that have looked, right? The actual box inside... Of my website the box that actually that you could scroll through the actual hmm I guess that's all it says let's see let's preview it I'll put it over here somewhere I really uh, so that's the all oh, so it just says writing prompts well that sucks cuz I thought I was gonna actually get that box you know that would have been really cool to just have that free-flowing text link and banner ads. Uh, online portfolio. Oh, look. You can actually um, add a uh, visit online um, writing portfolio widget. So, I'm going to add that. Um, it says, the widget highlights the items found in the author's recommended reading area. It, ran it randomly displays one to four items. So, that's pretty cool. This widget highlights the items found in the author's highlighted items area. It randomly displays one to three items. So, the all these widgets are your widgets, right? But I wish I had an actual, like, this right here. Like, this is the one that I actually, this right here. This whole prompt, 
this thing right here is what I wanted on. Not inspired by a prompt. Click more for another writer's prompt. Okay, but you see this right here is what I wanted to have. Let's go back to that page real quick. And let me see what it has here. Oh, here they go. Well, mm, let's see. Oh, they don't have a writer's prompt. Okay, but I want to add one of these widgets. Let's see. Let's add one to my writer's page. Now, mind you, these are not affiliates. You're not going to get any um, money off of these links, okay? Oh, this is this one's pretty cool. Write on at writing.com. Visit my portfolio at writing.com. Okay, so that's what it would look like. It says writing.com. See, these are what it would look like. Uh, let's get something like this. The online community for readers and writers. And I'll go ahead and grab this right here. Copy. And we could put that in there instead. I'll I'll figure out something for these writing prompts. I didn't want to go in here on my website, but I just wanted to show you guys how you can take something from that website and just put it on your website to um you know actually have more traffic go over to your um to your portfolio. So this is actually really cool. I like this little this little thingy here. And so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take it and I'm going to bring it down here, right under here. Right. Eventually when uh, more comments start generating up there. Oh, you know what? Let me just put it here. Go ahead and drop that. This is why I tell you guys on Squarespace, if you guys watch my Squarespace versus Wix video, you wouldn't be able to do all of that. All of this that I'm doing right now, moving things around, you would not be able to do all of that. This is why I love Wix. Remember to always save, guys, and publish to your actual site. Now this will be on my website under my uh, book section, right? And then people will click on that and go to writers.com. Now, right under here... I can post this right here. Hold on. Let me go up right here, guys. I can put this right under here just to make it look oh, a little bit paste. And look at that. And then people, I can drive people, if they're already on this website looking at um, looking at Mercury over here. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. I'm going to put that right here. Try to censor it. There we go. Put it right there. Visit my portfolio at writing.com. And you can actually get free, because I'm going to post some free previews of the Coven Chronicles on uh, writing.com and guess what people could just click on that and that's this what it does is basically uh, what I'm trying to show you guys is how to generate more traffic on each platform so that's what I'm basically doing is driving people from my website over to writing.com to check out some stuff and probably even join the community be under my fan thing and when I start you know um creating forums I'll have my own little following so, yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and start messing with this website. I just wanted to come to you guys real quick and just show you a little bit about writing.com and how you can benefit from this website. There's a lot of great things on here to do. Listen, I'll probably be on here for like 12 hours today, to be honest with you, because I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go in and I'm going to probably um, mingle a little bit with the community and, you know, enter some stuff into some of those little contests or whatever. Yeah. So, enjoy your guy enjoy your day guys. I hope you like this video. Like I said before, subscribe, hit that notification bell, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you didn't like the video, give me a thumbs down. It doesn't matter. It helps the algorithm. And share this video with your loved ones. So, until the next time.